Hey, welcome to my channel. And I know you've seen that thumbnail. We're going to be making some absolutely delicious Cajun fried corn. Now, this is a Wingsock copycat recipe. Better yet, it's going to be better than Wingsock because you know why? We're going to be making it at home. In your kitchen, Cajun fried corn. Think about that. A few ingredients, really simple, really easy. So we're going to go down to the workstation and focus on this recipe. Now, fam, since I got you focus on this recipe, this is what we're going with. We got three ears of fresh, sweet corn. Now, this right here is going to take it over the top, but this fresh, sweet corn is where it's at. Now, the other ingredients. Now, this will be in the description box below. We got some Cajun seasoning, right? And then we got our butter. This is a whole stick of butter. We're going in with a little bit of sugar. And then we got that fresh ground pepper, right? Can't go wrong with that. Now, if you want to take it and make it, you know, just a little bit different, you can hit it with that lemon pepper. But like I said, we're going to be making a Cajun fried corn today. So we're going to take our ears of corn and we're going to cut these into many little bite-sized chunks, right? So we're just going to take off that, that edge of that corn. So fam, whatever you want to do is if you want to come in an inch, two inches, whatever your preference is, that's what you go with, right? All right, fam, so here's a tip. You don't want to have too high of a heat because you don't have some popped corn, right? So you already know high heat, corn, popcorn. So we're making Cajun fried corn, not popcorn. Now you want to have your oil temperature about 325 degrees, about 350. Then you want to cook these until they're golden brown. It's not going to take long at all, about seven to 10 minutes, and then you in the game. Now I told you this won't take long at all. You just got to make sure that your corn is coming out golden brown and we in the game. So what we want to do is we want to come over here to our workstation and then we're going to get this in that sauce. And so we got melted butter. Now we got two tablespoons of Creole seasoning and we're going to add that to our butter. Then we got a little bit of sugar and this is a half a tablespoon of sugar. And then we're going to give this a mix. We want to put our corn in our mixing bowl. It's like so. And then now, I did say we got some freshly ground pepper. So what we want to do is we want to hit it with a little bit of pepper first. And then we're going in with our buttery Cajun sauce, just like that. And get all that in there. And then now what we're going to do is we're gonna get this toss in that sauce. And then now, since we got this toss in that sauce, and you can see it right here, you got your delicious looking Cajun fried corn. Now we're gonna get this plated up. Let's hit it with just a little bit of dry seasoning on top just a little sprinkle and then you in the game fam now fam there you have it you got your absolutely delicious looking cajun fried corn and you already know what we got to do we got to get this bad boy a taste test cheers fam now that is absolutely delicious. I'm going for another bite of that. Mm. Now, fam, that is simply amazing, fam. If you found value in this content, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you're new to this channel, and you want to take your cooking game to the next level and cook some stuff in your house, check out my other recipes, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications so you know when I release my content. Now, for the Focus fam that's been riding me for a while, you already know what I got to do. I'm going to smash into this Cajun fried corn, and we'll see you guys on the next recipe. Peace.